Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, full of God, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, shall be, the world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of our sins, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, for banished children of Eve. To thee do we set up our sighs, for thee we weep in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious our head, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And now, if this our desire, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the reward of eternal life, grant us this beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary, the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate the dignity and maintain the holy promise of the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in God. We are safe in our hands and the wickedness of the hands of the devil. May God grant you the humble prayer. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into the mouth of Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world seeking the grace of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In today's celebration of the Holy Family, our Christian families are given a model. In many ways, the Holy Family of Nazareth was unique and impossible to imitate. Today's scriptures stress one way in which all our families can follow them, seeking God's will and obeying it, and finding joy and happiness in it, even when that will demands sacrifices. Jesus is shown as someone who, from the child he was at Christmas, grew up to full maturity and who would carry out God's will to the very end. Like him, may we grow to maturity in our faith and our love. In our first reading from Genesis, as a sign that God would keep his covenant with Abraham, God promises him a son in his old age. Abraham believed and was given a son. Then in our second reading from Hebrews, Abraham with his household, is to all of us a model of faith in God and his promises. Then in our gospel reading, Mary and Joseph are told that the child Jesus is not theirs to keep for themselves, 
They must give him to all as the savior of everyone and accept the difficulties of this mission. Please rise. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family. Graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and the bonds of charity. And so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. book of Genesis. The word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am your shield. I will make your reward very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what good will your gifts be if I keep on being childless and have as my heir the steward of my house, Eliezer? Abram continued, See, you have given me no offspring. And so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, No, that one shall not be your heir. Your own issue shall be your heir. The Lord took Abram outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abram put his faith in the Lord who credited to him as an act of righteousness. The Lord took note of Sarah as he had said he would. He did for her as he had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time that God had stated. Abraham gave the name Isaac to this son of his whom Sarah bore him, the word of the Lord.
a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past a normal age and Sarah herself was sterile, for he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man himself as good as dead, descendants of numerous as the stars in the sky and countless as the sands on the seashore. By faith, Abraham went out to put to test, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said, through Isaac, December shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead and receive Isaac back as a symbol. The word of the Lord. Israel. 
The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Paniel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we uh, celebrate the feast day, the feast of the Holy Family, the Holy Family of uh, Nazareth. Our Lord Jesus Christ wanted to start his uh, redemptive task in the bosom of an ordinary family. The first thing that the Lord sanctified is His presence in the home of Mary and Joseph, His human fathers, uh, father and mother. And there was nothing extraordinary happened during these years in Nazareth where Jesus spent the greater part of his life. As uh, Pope Paul VI said, the home of Nazareth is the school where we also begin to understand the life of Jesus. The school of the Gospel. This is where he first known how to listen, to look around, to learn the lesson of silence, to meditate and understand the meaning. It is also in the home of Nazareth where we can learn the method which permits us to understand who really Christ is. In the home of uh, Mary and Joseph, one learns why it is necessary to have an 
spiritual life for those who would like to follow the teachings of the gospel. Joseph was the head of the family. He was a father, poor but just and good person. And he was a father according to the law who supported Jesus and Mary with his work as a carpenter. It is Joseph who received the message as to what the name he must give to the child. For the angel said, And you shall call him Jesus. And he also heard the words of those who wanted to protect the child. They heard the words, Rise, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt. Rise, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel. Do not go to Bethlehem, but to Nazareth. It was from St. Joseph also that our Lord Jesus learned his trade, which was to be also his means of earning a living. Remember that Jesus is fully human as he is fully divine. So we can learn so many things from this holy family of Nazareth. From our Blessed Mother, Jesus learned certain things, certain terms of faith. All this probably a popular expression that is full of wisdom which he was later to use in his preaching, in his going around in many different places. He was using ordinary activities in his parables. He must have seen how his, his mother kept back a little dough from one day to the next so that it could act as living. He must have seen also that if a garment was torn, she would look for a piece of cloth to match it. And Jesus, as a child, with a child's curiosity, would probably ask her why she did not use a new piece of cloth. And Our Lady would explain to him these things, ordinary things that happens in the family. And Mary spent nearly every day of her life like many other mothers who would look after their families, bringing up their children, and taking care of the house. And so Mary sacrifices the ordinary everyday things with what some people would just take it for granted. Probably people would regard these simple things as unimportant and uh, insignificant work. Between Joseph and Mary, there always existed a holy affection, spirit of service, and mutual desire for each other's happiness. This is our Lord's family, sacred, holy, exemplary, a model of human virtues, ready to carry out God's will, exactly as it was told to them. They probably would not understood everything what was said, but because they trusted in God, they listened to what the Lord is saying and did what exactly was told them. A Christian home must also be an imitation of the house of Nazareth, the Holy Family, a place where there is plenty of rooms for God so that He can be right 
at the center of the love that the members of the family have to have for one another. And we ask ourselves, is our home like this? Is there, is there respect, honesty, loving, and also forgiving when someone did something wrong? In the family, the parents should be the model by words and by deeds. The example, the first heroes of the faith with regard for their children. Parents are supposed to be the first teachers of, of the faith. In the case of the Holy Family, this was achieved in a most singular manner where the Lord learned the meaning of many things from his parents. As Mary and Joseph were devoutly uh, saying their traditional prayers, we as parents, we also devoutly teach our children to say at least these three basic prayers. The Our Father, Hail Mary, Glory Be, and then um, all this other longer prayer that we would recite also during Mass. So they were the first teachers of Jesus. They would devoutly recite the, the traditional prayers which were said in every Jewish uh, family. In that house, however, everything that referred particularly to God has a new meaning and content. Because it is Jesus Christ himself who is also fully divine. And so parents, we ask ourselves, do we help? Do you prepare your children to receive the sacraments that they should receive when they are young? Like going to confession or sending your kids to a catechism class so that they can receive their first holy confession, the first holy communion, and then uh, later their confirmation. Do you encourage them when they are sick, for example, and to think about the suffering of Christ also and to invoke the aid of the Blessed Mother, of our Blessed Mother and other saints? Do you say the family rosary together? Do you pray before you go to sleep or before you eat? Do you pray with your children with the whole domestic community like going to Mass on Sundays? If Christian homes imitate the home of the Holy Family, then there will be um, cheerfulness and joy in, in home. Because members of the family uh, will struggle, first of all, to get to know God and with the spirit of sacrifices or sacrifice will endeavor them to make life more pleasant to those around them. When we, when we are closer to God, whatever struggles, pain, suffering, difficulties, or needs that you have, it's easy to be just joyful and cheerful with what you have, to be contented with whatever you have in the family. As I've said, the family is a school of virtues and the ordinary place to find God. The aim is always to sanctify the family where they will know these virtues of prudence, loyalty, sincerity, humility, and even industriousness and cheerfulness when we are close to God. 
and all these virtues will strengthen the unity that the church continue to teach us to pray united to Christ the family is always as defined by the church a member of his mystical body and has been called the domestic church so we we reflect on how I can make my family as um, a domestic church also by praying together and teaching the kids all these things that the church uh, teaches us that the community of love and faith has to be manifested itself in all circumstances as the church herself does as a living witness to Christ Christian family always proclaims aloud both the present power of the kingdom of God and the hope of the life to come so family is very important but in this present uh, age seems to be there is a lot of broken families and even like for example we hear this many times the black community for example they are really um, looking forward to a good family a father in every family that's the reason there's a lot of this is from them it's not from me saying this that there's a lot of unfortunate things that happens with these young kids because there is no family figure in the family and we can see that in prisons also the number of this uh, culture when father is not around children are also leading a different wrong path in life family father and mother is very important in the family in the holy family every christian home finds its most perfect example it is that the christian family can discover what it should do and how it should behave so as to bring about this sanctification and full human uh, development as um, as or of each one of its members so Nazareth the Holy Family of Nazareth is the school where we should be able to understand clearly the gospel Nazareth is the school where we begin to understand Jesus life it is the school where we begin to get to know God and his love for all of us here we learn to observe to listen to meditate to penetrate the mysterious depth of this simple humble uh, in manifestation of the Son of God among men this is where the time where, the, where Jesus really spent a lot of time in Nazareth maybe 30 years in his uh, three years ministry afterwards before he went back to our Father in heaven the family is the simplest and most basic form of the society but what society right now is trying to do is to destroy the image of a family as the church defines it a family is between father mother and their children but now they're trying to destroy that image of what a family is and so today we pray to the holy family in a very special way for each member of our families and particular for the one all those who are in most uh, need 
So we continue to ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten us, to guide us, especially our parents. Our Blessed Mother will continue to show us the way. If we ask her how to bring up your children so that in the future they will also be sensible and responsible people. Our world really needs families that are well formed, that has fear in God, that follows what the church teaches, the virtues of life. Present day life shows us that all this cohabitating, for example, civil marriages or marriages that are poorly lived out without self-giving, sometimes without love, only bring about aggressiveness or loneliness or hatred or depression. And in that atmosphere of hatred, of loneliness, the children are also rare who would later also raise their family. And surely there will also be this kind of problem because this is what we have seen. The Christian family in this present times is in danger. And so only love and responsibility will accept it. For only love and responsibility being honest to one another can save these things. And so in this feast of the Holy Family of Nazareth, let us pray and ask our Blessed Mother and St. Joseph to pray for us, to help us. And so that all the families in the world, especially those who have the most problem, be enlightened by the Holy Spirit. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, were a family who trusted God's love and care. With the same confidence, we present to God our needs and concerns. Let Christians practice kindness and patience every day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the leaders of the world value families, affirming all children will grow in wisdom and truly value the lessons learned from their parents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. That families separated by war or distance be 
we united in God's boundless love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That elderly parents be consoled and strengthened by caring and loving sons, daughters, and grandchildren, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That single people find welcome in our parish family and live out their vocation in lives of charity, prayer, and service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all the sick in the parish written in our bulletin, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal, special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. For healing, for Rich Rizzo, John Rusensky, Don Hobbs, Leonora Guess, Mike, Shen, David Buckler, and all those whose names are written in our church bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. And for our community here in Susanville and in Herlong, that we all be protected from this virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all our young children, for all Catholic volunteers, church workers, and all those who are actively and silently helping our community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all men and women in the military, and all our frontliners and medical workers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And all these prayers and intentions we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And before I forget, also we pray for the living and the deceased of Eter Byrne and Fogarty and families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. 
it will be done for us. Our spiritual friend, blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, this sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and St. Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for on the feast day of this all filled mystery though invisible in his own divine nature he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all who pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be in you. For those watching this live streaming who cannot receive Christ in the Holy Communion at Mass, please join me in this spiritual communion <coughs> prayer. In union, dear Lord, with the priests at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to you. And since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. Oh, let nothing ever sit right you from me. Let me live and die in your love. Amen.
This week's announcements are as follows. There is a second collection for the building and maintenance fund. Please give generously. Three, I heard God's laugh. Book is in the festival, take one per family. Please pick up your mass schedules in the festivals after the mass for lectors and ushers and Eucharistic ministers. The parish calendars for 2021 are available also in the festival. No masses on December 28th and the 29th. On January 1st, 2021, New Year's Day Mass is at 8 a.m. Also, Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, it is a holy day of obligation. Please read the bulletin for additional information. Thank There's a uh, correction on, the, on Friday. January 1st. It's a day of obligation, so we follow the uh, regular schedule, which is at 7 o'clock in the morning and 5.30 in the afternoon as regular schedule for day of obligation. There's also 11.30 in the morning at uh, Herlo. And 7 o'clock mass, adoration will follow. Benediction will be at 5, followed by Mass at 5.30. So Masses will be at 7 and 5.30, and there's a Holy Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. Thank you. Read the bulletin for additional information. It's me, a Polpa. It's, I was the one who made it. <laughs> <laughs> the bulletin, but I forgot that it's our first uh, first of January is a day of obligation. But um, yeah, seven and five thirty. Please stand. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament. Most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who from the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice, and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May the God who will that the great joy of his Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel. Fill your minds with the gladness he gives, and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. And may God, who by the Incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor, and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. 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 And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. 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 Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And thanks be to God. Have a blessed Sunday, everyone. You too, Father. We also would like to wish uh, Father Linus on his uh, 25th, 25th uh, anniversary as a priest. He is uh, traveling to Nigeria today. Be, he will be traveling for four days before he get home. So we pray for his uh, safety and we will be waiting for your return, Father. But you will be quarantined. <laughs> <laughs> now you already talk about what to do when he comes back. So, so we all be safe.